Okay folks, we're back today the 12th of May here in a crop of planet spring barley sown about the 24th of March and uh, it's actually a very good crop for the year that we have. Um, this crop, what it has got to date is it was sown with 3,000 gallons of pig slurry and it's got 55 units of nitrogen and 14 units of sulphur supplied through UAN. The crop has received a fair bit of TLC already in terms of how it's been managed. This got the insight spray we talked about in the winter barley videos earlier at 0.5 a litre per hectare at about the four leaf stage. The first tiller was just peeping. We went in with just insight and the aphicide. Now we would have planned to do the herbicide with it, but there were no weeds up. So we just went the insight to get the roots grown, which again, as I say, gives that phenomenal increase in rooting. Only about a week ago, we came back because we, we haven't had rain, we're in a drought scenario here. We came back and we went with the herbicide and we picked Cameo and Canvara. Um, suits the weed spectrum that's here, um, kind enough on the crop, I suppose. With that, we put in the cereal ally because it was all about stress reduction and we're in land here that does need a fair bit of um, micronutrient input. So we put on the, the herbicide, we put on cereal ally, we didn't add in any magnesium to it, even though this is a very magnesium prone field because the, the level of magnesium that's in the cereal ally has actually kept the crop going till now. We also added in uplift at that stage. Um, again, uplift, you've heard me talk about it so often, it's all about stress reduction and enhancing the plant's ability to grow, but that is really coming into its own this year with the drought conditions we have here. So the crop is looking very well. We've got four very strong tillers on it, just approaching growth stage 30. The plan for this around here, around my neck of the woods, we normally put on T1 around the 15th of May. So this is going to get a fungicide probably the end of the week. There's no rain on the horizon, so we let it run until then. It's going to get another shot of uplift. It'll get another small bit of cereal ally and some of the Liquiplex MN. And again, there's amino acids in that Liquiplex, which will help reduce the stress. It's, it is worth highlighting this crop is particularly good for some of the spring barleys I've seen. A lot of it is under an awful lot of stress and it, it's all been driven by, by the drought, the lack of rainfall and the plant's ability to get moisture and nutrition out of the ground. I said I was afraid this would happen this year but it's similar to what happened in 2018. The crops are just under pressure. So it's all about TLC, it's all about reducing the stress. Mightn't seem like a lot of nitrogen on this crop at 55 units but as I say we also have pig slurry underneath it and it is following beet but it's that early combination of the insight to drive the roots followed by the uplift to drive the plant getting on the manganese copper zinc magnesium through the cereal alloy and we've started using the Altec liquiplex stress elements as well which have all the amino acids in its reduced stress that's what has this crop looking so well today we will continue that program right through to the end because when we put the final fungicide on here this year will we use the Altec liquiplex liquiplex magnesium so again it's topping up the magnesium for grain fill through enhanced chlorophyll but again the amino acids within the liquiplex will reduce stress on the plant and keep it producing to the best of its abilities.